The CDC now recommends Americans choose either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines over Johnson & Johnson's. That announcement was made yesterday. The decision stems from a rare health complication seen in a small number of J&J &J recipients. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan spoke with doctors tonight, and he joins us now. So a lot of people are talking about this. What should we expect out of it? Well, we need to be clear, this issue is extremely rare, but enough to prompt the CDC to make that recommendation. The fear now is that it may bolster vaccine hesitancy, not only in the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but the other two as well. 16 million people lined up for this vaccine, administered as one shot and done. Yet just like that. And now a change in recommendation from the CDC. The center is now recommending Americans get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine only if the other two vaccines are not available. There's just a safer alternative, and we've learned that. So far, 54 people have suffered from blood clot issues after taking the J&J vaccine. Nine have died. Really, it's women from 30 to 50 or so who are at the highest risk, and that high risk is one in 100,000. That's a very rare event. You should spend more time looking each way before you cross the street. Dr. Christopher Belcher is the medical director of infection prevention at Ascension St. Vincent. Things like this have been seen with vaccines previously. In particular, he references rotavirus vaccines in the 90s, saying it caused issues with about 50 children. The vaccine was stopped and a new vaccine was formulated. This has been done before, and this is how vaccine safety works. He wants to be very clear. This should not make people fearful of the vaccines. Everything we do has risk. This risk was recognized, and it's been quantified, and it's still risk lower than the risk of disease. He says most symptoms related to the blood clots show up two weeks after vaccination. And they can show up with severe headaches, stroke-like symptoms, seizures. If you previously got the J&J &J vaccine and are ready for a booster, the CDC suggests you go with Pfizer or Moderna if possible. And it should give us confidence that even these very, very rare um, events, 50-something people in this country with it, um, were detected and we're looking for it and we're making moves to adjust it. It's how the scientific method has always worked. Well, if you feel any of the symptoms that Dr. Belcher spoke of, you are encouraged to seek out medical attention. Again, these tend to come about two weeks after the shot, not immediately following your vaccination. He says that could be mild headaches, fatigue, or chills that are common right after getting your shot. In the newsroom, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Mike